What's good, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the New York Jets Daily Recap. I'm your host, Drew Jets. And before we get started, 83% of you who watch my videos are not subscribed, so make sure to hit that subscribe button. And let's get on to some news. Training camp is officially over. Yesterday was the last day of New York Jets training camp. Takeaways, injuries, a lot of them. Players are coming back from injuries and we should be healthy by week one against Buffalo. So no to that. Um, Blessing on Austin looks like he is going to be a cornerback for the New York Jets future. That was probably Mike McCannigan's best pick as a New York Jet besides Sam Darnold or one of them drafting Blessing on Austin in the sixth round. Um, now I will give the New York Jets a C plus or a B minus, C plus or B minus. Um, now we looked okay. I'm not gonna say we looked fantastic. We did have a lot of injuries and we didn't look amazing. We got blown out by the second team on a scrimmage. The first team offense literally got blown out against the second team. And some key players did get hurt in training camp. Um, but other than that, it was a pretty good camp in my opinion. So I'm giving the New York Jets a B minus. Tom Pelissero over on NFL Network tweeted out yesterday that the New Orleans Saints are sending an all-out blitz attempt to try to get Javadion Clowney. Other teams interested in Clowney are the Tennessee Titans and the Jacksonville Jaguars. A team you do not hear in the mix are the New York Jets, and these are some reasons why they should not sign him and why they aren't going to sign him. Number one, he is better against the run than the pass. The, the kind of edge rusher the Jets need is a pass rusher, not a run rusher. The Jets had the second best run defense in the NFL last year, and nobody from that defense left. So we're going to be good again. Javadion Clowney wants $17 million a year. The Jets are trying, the Jets are most likely, the Jets are spinning wisely in free agency this year. You know, we're not trying to spend big on free agents because this free agent class wasn't the greatest. We're saving our money in the future when we're actually going to contend. Teams like the Tennessee Titans and the New Orleans Saints are in the mix around because they might be wanting to push for the Super Bowl this year. Um, Tennessee Titans were in the AFC Championship game last year, and the Saints are most likely wanting to win a Super Bowl before Drew Brees retires. And Clowney can maybe help them reach that you know, Super Bowl kind of potential. And Clowney also wants to play for a contender. Uh, don't know why Jacksonville's in there. Um, he's also a very injury prone player, Giovanni and Clowney. The Jets are a team who face a ton of injuries. Signing Clowney would just not even help the cause at all. So that's why the New York Jets should not sign Javadion Clowney. Also in kind of news a bit, the Eagles wave wide receiver Deontay Burnett. Um, he played with Sam Darnold in USC. They had a good connection. He also was with the New York Jets, Sam Darnold's rookie year. And at the beginning of last year, um, but mm, he got cut by the New York Jets. But he would be a good receiver for the New York Jets to sign since they are so low on receiver depth. Tomorrow is the cut from 80 to 53 man roster. And on Sunday is the waiver wire. I most likely will not be making videos there because I will be at my lake house and I will not for Labor Day weekend and I probably will not have any internet. Um, if there's any major, major cuts, like if we cut, I don't know, let's say Bashad Perriman or Denzel Mims or something, then I would make a video or like if we sign something or if we sign someone really major, like let's say the Cardinals decided to cut DeAndre Hopkins and the Jets just sign him, something like that. So thank you guys for watching. If you are returning, welcome back. I love having you here. If this is your first time watching the New York Jets News channel, make sure to subscribe because I post New York Jets content like this every single day. Don't forget to turn the notification bell on and follow me on social media at Jude Jets on Instagram and Twitter. This has been another New York Jets Daily Recap video. Thank you for joining me on this video today. Thanks for watching and as always, go Jets. Peace.